Stop it. <laughs> Come back. Oh, good. Everyone's going to be able to see your food. Sauce. <laughs> That's sauce, yes. Sauce, please. Yes, thank you, Rob. It worked. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry, uh, you're just waiting for him to finish making his, his dinner. So he can eat. Uh. And make noises. Um, so yeah, Dayton, here we are. Lucky us. Rob, Ring, Brian, Steph. How are y'all doing tonight? Check in. Always use a knife and fork for your splotch of sauce. Where did my Dayton facts go? Hey, Havoc. They had Havoc. Hi. Oh, Steph gave bits. Thanks for the peppy. Hello, MCCS. Mix them into mommy. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm getting an eye exam this weekend, though, so maybe I'll be able to read this chat better soon. Thank you, Vinny. How are you? Dayton is coming along. I hope the city itself is coming along well. Uh, the city where... There's my facts. Pretty good. Uh, the first soapbox derby was held in Dayton in 1933. So, there you go. It's good. Pretty good. Good. So far, best meal prep. Oh. Better than steak? No, no, no. Mm. This is the best meal prep place. Mm -hmm. Got it. Hi, Brain Z. Brain Easy. Ryan. Brainy. Uh, do you go here? Do you go here? Yeah, I don't know. New York Sunrise. Hi. Thank you for the bits. I have to Adam Cole's stream. I've been playing Zelda to watch the Dayton Puzzle stream. He's too powerful. Zelda. Please tell me you told him that before you left. <laughs> screw, just screw this. I'm going to Dayton. You should have said I'm leaving this one to go listen to Dan Hazen chew chicken. Um, um, um. Dayton was invented April 1st, 1796. By a fool. Not established, invented. <laughs> oh, ring, gift and tier one subs, thank you. To Hoover fan and it's your boy, P Nasty. <laughs> Make sure to thank Ring for the for those uh <laughs> I don't know why that name tickled me so. <laughs> Is it sugar chicken? No. It's chicken chicken. It is just chicken and broccoli and rice. Chicken and broccoli. What is your beverage? Um, Zevia. Zevia, zero calorie ginger root beer. Root beer. I got at the store today to see how it is. It's okay. It's pretty good for diet soda. Oh, no, it's diet. Well, I just hate the word diet. Vinny Red, subscribe for two months. Thank you. Look at that. We got a little hype train going. Choo choo. Chicken ASMR and Dayton are very important, are more important than Zelda. Good point. ZB is good. It was my first time trying it. Um, honestly, I don't really taste the ginger that much though. No. Games. Were they doing Jackbox? And Aubrey pulled a Danhausen reference during one round to win her showdown. Who did this? Uh, apparently, Ref Aubrey. Yeah. Oh, good. What was it? Don't eat sugar chicken, you'll get all razzed up. Good point. Choo choo. Thank you, Rob Justice. Okay. <laughs> Ginger's too real. I have some in my freezer, I think. There you do. They have a decent Dr. Pepper flavor. Okay. I will be on the lookout for that. This is one of those things I see it on the. I've been seeing it just like on the shelf for like years and. Never really paid much attention to it, but then I just noticed they had the word ginger root beer and was curious, so. I thought it was tilapia that was a conspiracy. Mm. 
Apparently there's people that believe tilapia isn't a real fish. Or, what is it? I don't know. Exactly. I've eaten it many times. Yeah. Ow! The hot broccoli. Hot, <laughs> hot broccoli. Oh, never mind. Yeah. The title was something about evil, and one of her three lines was very nice. Good. Yeah, good. She gets it. Ginger Curious. Birds aren't real. Just finished Alice in Borderland. A great series. Uh, that kind of sounds familiar. I don't really know what that is, though. When you were young, did you ever pretend that, like, broccoli was trees and you were a dinosaur? Uh, no. Eating them? Oh. Specifically, they a... Said broccoli uh, sex. Specifically a Brachiosaurus. Um, you could say, look, I'm a Brachiosaurus. No. Hey. Hollow Burn, subscribe for four months. Thank you. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what it means. I'm getting ready to buy a Danhausen shirt. Any suggestions? Uh, the most expensive one. <laughs> uh, get the pocket one. All right, it comes up tomorrow. Cheesy broccoli is awesome. I agree. I like broccoli. I even like raw broccoli. The Great Dayton Flood of 1913 resulted from flooding by the Great Miami River reaching Dayton, Ohio, and the surrounding area causing the greatest natural disaster in Ohio history. It's funny because of the way people talk about Dayton. They sound like it was just, the, in general, the greatest disaster. Mm. People will be throwing a lot of shade at Dayton in this... In this, uh, it's because chat. you're doing the puzzle. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And there's just a lot of people, I think, here from Ohio. Your fan base is from Ohio. Apparently. So you admit you it's really fan. just, well, it's just really spillover from you. <laughs> I'm sure plenty of people actually enjoy the streams, and I appreciate that they do, but I'm realistic. I know where these people came from. Ohio? Yeah. <laughs> I've never had Skyline Chili. Isn't Skyline Chili a Cincinnati thing? Nah, that's okay. I know they, they sell cans of it in the like, Kroger here, but it's like $7 a can or something ridiculous, and I'm like, that's probably not worth it. No. Need a Michigan. We do have a Michigan puzzle. Time for the race. Have I learned how to play Magic yet? No, nor will I ever. <laughs> Just by being honest. I don't, need, I don't need that kind of pain in my life. It's fine. Well, I'm, I'm glad some people are out there enjoying it. <laughs> Didn't need the knife. Tilapi is a fish. Good thing. Thank you. I'm in rural Lincolnshire, UK. <laughs> I like knowing where people are from. We should do a map and fill it in every time someone's like, I'm from this country. Good. Oh. Yeah, yeah, the, ah. We get like a little cat email to use. Choo choo. Hey. There's a dolphin. That, Stephanie did that. It's a sleepy cat. The Bart Simpson Danhausen shirt is awesome. We're gonna do that then. You do an Arby Street fight? Arby? Yeah. Uh, so this is about an uh, Arby Street fight with Ethan Page. No, no. And um, it kind of went by fast. I think it said the ass boys. Oh. How was the banana bread? Good. How long have you been doing that? <laughs> Watching you puzzle is relaxing and spending my whole day listening to complaints. Fair enough. Thank you, Malachi. Am I off a lot? I don't think so. Hmm. Malachi from. What was it? Children of the Corn. Dan has another nose, Malachi Black. You only recognize Malachi Black? Yeah. Very cool that man with that black. Did you boil Catwoman yet? Uh, no. Nope, still sitting in a box. I know how old that was because it's in the basement. <laughs> it's very old. Yeah. 
I probably broke my leg that weekend. Thank you, Haha Jackson. Doing my best. Haha, dude. Should flood the puzzle and complete for historical accuracy. I will give that consideration. Sloppy puzzle. Pour water on it. The penguin would be hard to boil. Right, shaped like an egg. 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 Puzzle soup? Nope. Hey, look at that. <sighs> what, 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 what? This better be about pizza. It's not me putting my Chinese away. No one wants my puzzle. Nobody likes Millhouse. Oh no. We have too much food? I know. Egghead, the newest Batman villain. Who? It's an egghead. Oh. That's just Vincent Price, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, it is Crash Bandicoot Night. Man. Nicholas is not oh, here. Oh yes. There was no there was also a historical flood in Boston of scalding hot molasses. Yes. There was. Yep. Apparently, some say on humid days you can still smell it. Correct. We have not boiled Michelle Pfeiffer yet. No. They mean Gregory. I mean Nick. I call him Nick. He's yeah, we call him Nicholas. Damn it. You met that guy. Who? The real to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. How was he? Nice. Good. I imagine so. Like, he just, he's kind of, seems pretty loyal to wrestlers. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's kind of uh, his thing. Hey. Oh, Rob. Good one. Don't do that again. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what happened? Don Henley's last worthless evening is about Michelle Pfeiffer, but I don't care. I don't even know what that is. I mean, I know who Don Henley is, but... What is it? The inventor of the Henley t-shirt? It's from... His music. God, I'm blanking on the name. Musical Eagles. God! Eagles. Right? Yeah. I just remember that um, Mojo Nixon had a song called Don Henley Must Die. Okay. And then apparently he jumped up on stage and sang it with him one night. Okay. And then he was kind of just like, you know what, I like that guy now. I suppose you. A song. He invents songs. Good for him. The rumble around the corner, which winner is your favorite and which <coughs> one match? Uh, I, I like watch. I've always liked watching the Rumbles, but I don't know if I have like a favorite. No, because I'm never really surprised by the winners. No. So, do you guys enjoy the Eagles? No. Uh -huh. No. I don't enjoy the Eagles. I can promise one have it. Fair enough. Fair enough, Rob. Yeah, he might. I hope so. Yeah. Every year he was in it, then I was in it. I hope he wins. That's true. It's actually true. It was very serious. Y'all watched any of 1883. I don't even know if I know what that is. I don't know what that is. Is it a show? I'm guessing. Do you like any bird bands? You mean like Hate Beak? That was a bird band. Uh, I, don't, I know there's a band called Hate Beak that is a band with a bird for a singer. So they just basically record bird squawking. Yeah. No. For sure than me. Hold on. Go ahead. I'll get it. Someone asked a question. 
Show them this. The yard birds. No, not that one. Oh. There we go. At least to this run. Ah, I see. That would be impressive, though, with the broken leg and all. Yes. It's the prequel to the Yellowstone show. I have not watched Yellowstone either. Um, oh, yeah, I don't know what the hell that is. Show version of the Oregon Trail. Okay. Is the puzzle Italian? No. Unless Lantern Press is based out of Italy. I figured, yeah. Need more giallo puzzles. Giallo? Yeah. Right. Well, uh, Messed Up Puzzles has, um, uh, that's not attacking for the, that's some Italian puzzles. I think they have. Pizza's Italian. Any, like, giallo puzzles, though? I'm trying to remember. King's Toothbrush. Thank you. Can we get the hell out of I'm trying, man. It was weird that Ted DiBiase and Stardust they had dinner together. Right. At a TGI Fridays, or it's weird that they had dinner at TGI Fridays, or is it weird because they were splitting dessert? You're nervous. <laughs> Who knows? What's the next puzzle? Oh, it's gonna be a Josie and the Pussycats puzzle. Ooh. Yeah. And then I think after that, I'm going to do the Mount Carmel PA one. And then after that, I don't know yet. I've got a bunch. i got a bunch of Simpsons puzzles. That's true. I, said, I don't think I want to do the Toxic Crusader one just because it's so cool. Like, I kind of want to keep it just together. Preserved. Yeah. Comic or movie? Com well, comic. I wish it was the movie. Ah, oh, the gift wasn't good enough. No, it's, it's a great gift. I just, I wish I also had a movie one. The gift was from Tannhausen, so thank you. <laughs> the gift that is just not good, quite good enough. That's you, not true. You heard it here first. That's not true. I wish I also... Why would I be so excited to do it next if it wasn't good enough? Aye. It still looks cool. Chicken. Monorail puzzle. Oh, they were all with John Cena, even though they're feuding with him. Sure. Were they just across from each other, glaring? It's like, yeah, we hate each other, but we like carpooling. We like TGI Fridays. Yeah. He is a great gift giver. No, I got him it. What? Uh oh. What just happened? Right. Is she gonna go get the puzzle? Uh -huh. Something about blankets. Oh, is she getting the electric blanket? No, I was. Oh, well, you came out of that room like a bat out of hell. Oh, did I? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> I just got out. You're still wearing your work clothes. <clears throat> I just have my scrubs top on. <laughs> I wanted to eat. I was so hungry when I got home. The, the, uh, I'm sorry. The Josie and the Pussycats puzzle Dan Housen actually got me for Christmas. puzzles is they just you don't have to be good at them you just enjoy the time doing them the electric blanket was invented in a dentist's office but was it in Dayton Ohio otherwise it's off topic <laughs> so plug in your electric blanket Boop. 
Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. I'm joking. I'm joking. It was Dayton, Ohio, which oh, is the okay. dentist capital of the world, coincidentally. I don't believe that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I really want that to be true. Is Britt Baker from there? I didn't think so. No, you'll get no one trio in doses when it comes naturally. Dayton is home. Oh, I tried to cut some of this off. Uh, I'll. We already knew about the cash register. What? No, I didn't. Let's see. Rob Lowe, Allison Janney, Janney, Janie, Martin Sheen, Nancy Carrick, Ken Jenkins, the Jeopardy guy, right? That's Ken Jenkins. Ah, uh, yes. It has lots of sister cities, which I accidentally cut off. But one in Germany, Israel. Liberia, Japan, and Bosnia. Bosnia. Burt Baker's from Pittsburgh. Yes. That's definitely the national capital of the world. Also the iced tea capital of the world. Buying the Bart Simpson Danhausen shirt. Good choice. Yeah. Good job. Have you ever been to a toy store called Toy Department? No. It's amazing. Where in in Ohio? Found in 1796. Yes. Or invented, as someone said earlier. The risk of turning this into Dining with Danhausen, how do you prep your chicken? Uh, <laughs> you went to it. a place yeah. where they prepped it for him. <laughs> and then they put barbecue sauce on it. Looks like comic book version of Slimer. Okay. Martin Sheen, he was in the Money Mouth found in the Goonies. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dayton is considered the home of funk music. Exactly where it is. I live in. Oh, look, they live in Tennessee. <clears throat> the truth comes out. Chicken people. Meh. Yeah. What? Ah, uh, she just said chicken people. Oh. Who prepped your chicken? The chicken people. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's a place called Michigan Nutrition. Am I nutrition? They should pay you for that. Probably. You should just give me free meals. That should be pretty good. Sounds good. Yeah. Smells okay. Yeah, it was not a bit. He's pretty plain, but it is not bad, so. Well, you have, good thing you have the sauce. Fairfield, Ohio. Oh, the Stonecutters episode is on. That's a good episode. Yeah. I like that one. Don't watch it too much either. This is a very weird piece. It actually has like a little notch. There. Yeah. Weird. It's ruined. Ruined. Fairfield, Ohio. That's like four hours away. It's too far. Mm. Four hours from here. Here? Okay. Is it on the way to Cleveland? No. Um, and then Ger Gerard? Is that where? Yeah, Gerard, we're going Ohio? to Gerard yeah. in Cleveland. Toy Hayo, E-I-W. It's, not, it's never the last piece. It's always the second from last piece. Ruined. Ruined. Now oh, let's get drunk and play ping pong. Hey, Kylo Rich.
Oh. Right. Is there WKRP in Cincinnati? Down Zach. WKRP in Cincinnati was a TV show. Ah, okay. With DJ Howard Hesman. Never watched it. Wait. Who would have guessed? The character. What's the character? I don't remember. No. My mom loved the show. Her. That's all. That time was the last piece. rough right uh adam buttery illustration uh won't be able to make it to ohio no. to ohio there'll be plenty of opportunities yes just go anyway <laughs> you okay correct my back it's pretty good Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. It's been the hardest puzzle we've completed. Um, definitely that that Joe Bob one. That's like the three D image. It's just because it's, it was all just a bunch of blue lines and a bunch of red lines, and they were on top of each other. So it was just very hard to see what you were doing. And like what I'm doing right now, where I kind of have to go piece by piece in a row. That was basically the entire puzzle. There's very few parts that I can like actually tell where they were supposed to go. Scariest too. I don't know, I did that shining one. Oh. I actually got another shining one for Christmas too. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh, nope. I need something like that. Nice try. Not many jump scares in Dayton. No. Jump scare. The rest of there, bunch of was scary as hell. In Dayton? Oh, yes. What runs out? What company runs out of Dayton? Rockstar. Hmm. Any good matches? No. <laughs> They're all bad. <laughs> Every single yeah, one. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Is it still a company? I don't know. Uh, but it's what uh, Zachary Wentz used to wrestle there all the time. MGF wrestled there sometimes. Desmond Xavier. First Pete try. They were very good. So you, so there's a lot of good talent. That Met Kevin Blackwood there officially for the first time. Brody King was there once. Okay. Jeez. Not sure will do anything to get picked up by the microphone. Just to reveal, I'm mucking. So, has anyone in this chat had anything actually bad happen to them in Dayton? Uh, it didn't get kicked in the throat. Oof. Volleyball and church. Yep, that's, that's what we know. Volleyball, church. There are two corner zones. As they are corner pieces of the puzzle. I moved here. That was bad. Because <laughs> everything, like I said, everything I know about Dayton, I know from the movie uh, Deadbeat by Don. What is that? It's a movie about gangs in uh, Dayton, Ohio. It's a horror film. No, you know, they showed it on Joe Bob, but I don't know if it's necessarily horror. It was violent. 
Very low budget. Sure. And then a White Castle at Dayton. Sounds nice. It's pretty sure. That goes there. Kathy's drinking water. I'm sorry. Did you know it had a reputation until now? Yeah. I found that out after watching that movie. <laughs> Went to Cleveland and Sandusky. That was enough. Uh, been to Cleveland, Sandusky, driven through Cincinnati, driven through Dayton. Uh, Columbus is fine. Just giving a nuts on this later. Violent crime in 1 in 327 in Ohio, but 1 in 90 in Dayton. Ooh. Yeah. Did you tell Corey to aim for the groin? He knows. He knows. <laughs> He's evil. He knows. <laughs> Typical Ryan Dust Bell. Yeah. So learn karate and bring a book to Dayton. Yep. Corey. Right. Okay. Yes. Just got the cord. Oh, the cord's got. They're fixed now. Yeah, it happens. Oh yeah. The little ice. The little ice pack. Oh. Where are they at? I got it. Thirty. Yeah. How many did you want? Uh, one. Oh shit! There's a frosty in here. Ooh. Just one of them. One of them would be good. That's ice cream, not that. I'm looking for the ice cream. Oh, yeah. What? They're getting ice cream. Oh, my God. Ah. What's that? This one. Yeah, that's right. Oh, no. <laughs> Steph's coming to get her frosty. Can I get your frosty? I forgot that. Yeah, I thought. There's a frosty. What did he say? Why is he swearing? Oh, I said, oh shit. Oh. No, I did it again. Hi, frosty. I just, I just feel bad making fun of cities that have problems because, I mean, Detroit. Uh, <laughs> Everyone makes fun of Detroit. Detroit is pretty cool. Yeah, exactly. Charles Wright Museum has a King Tut. Ooh. Ooh. Mummies. Let this go. Mummies? Yeah. I want to see mummies. Yeah, uh, well, it's in the Billy Zane now. It's in Billy Zane? Yes. Okay. Billy Zane's not in that movie. You know that. Not him. He's a wig. Yeah. Colonel Vossler. Yeah, Billy Zane. Oh, uh, the Wendy cereal is apparently disgusting. No, really? I work in East St. Louis, so I can't talk bad about any other city. I get it. Mummy? Brendan Fraser? Yes. Phantom? That's Billy Zane. Phantom no, he's in the mummy. You saw him. I don't make fun of other states because I live in Florida. Oh, see, this person says they like the Frosty cereal. Dunkaroo's cereal is pretty decent. Most cereals are good. So if a cereal's pretty decent, I feel like that's a bad probably, cereal. Probably, uh, decent. <laughs> probably decent. Good, good point. I retract my statement. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Speed horse. Must have been that bean I had for dinner. Trying more innovation downtown. I actually enjoy it here better than rural Indiana where I came from. Fair enough. Hi, Scorpion. Seven Toast Crunch cereal is the best cereal. It's a top tier cereal for sure. I don't know if I'd say it's the best, but it is a very good cereal. 
I don't know what I'd say as a favorite cereal. It really depends on what I'm in the mood for at that time. I really like Frosted Flakes. Frosted like Flakes. Yeah. So I can't comment. I assume we saw the same YouTube video I have, by the way, pronounced Fraser. Huh? Ah. I actually don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> if it's something I said, did I say something about Fraser now? Uh, no, I didn't think so. It's probably on a, a video they posted. That we filmed four months ago? Fraser. Subscribe for four months. Thank you, Type. Uh, let's see. No, his leg is broke. What? Ask him about the rumble again. No. <laughs> See the new Scream or the new Jackass movie? Um, is that out? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I mean, I like I like watching the stunts in Jackass stuff. I think we were talking about this the other day. But like pranks on like just innocent people, I don't like watching that stuff. I don't like watching. It's funny. That or Impractical Jokers. Things no, like that. it's funny. It's not though. You make them feel bad. It's funny. Uh, DW about it over your head. Okay. <laughs> I have terrible recollection, so. Right. I never I don't remember my own inside jokes. But I can quote The Simpsons all day. Little chocolate donut cereal. I was trying the magic spoon here at cereal, hoping for the best. I hope so too. Chris Judas recommends it on his podcast. Recommends what? Uh, is it the cereal? Does he do the magic spoon? Oh, yes. Yes, he does. I like inside jokes. I hope to be part of one someday. That's from a show you don't even like. That's, that, that's from The Office, the right? Office. Yeah. I've seen, it was puzzling. I've seen enough of The Office. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Stephanie watches The Office, so I have watched a lot of it too. I feel like, like there's it's also one of those shows that if I see like three episodes, I feel like I've wasted my time. Why? I was like, there was my day. There was my whole day. I ruined the it. The twenty like minutes. Three episodes of The Office. Yeah, I don't like know. the twenty I don't minutes. Know. I could watch terrible movies all day and not feel bad about it. No, I'm not happy that it's almost going to be three hours long. I am. I'm not going to watch it now. I am. Not in the theater. As long as it's good. If it is good, three hours, bring it on. Brook is I'd rather watch Bring It On. Endgame was like three hours, and it was paced well, so it did not seem like three hours. You love the MCU. It was one of those. <laughs> I, I thought Endgame was way too long. It did not feel like a long movie. Yes, though. it did. Had a good time. Okay. You did not have a good time. I'm not having a good time with this. <laughs> you say that we're watching puzzle being built and invented. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Bring it on the movie. Yes, I'd rather watch Bring It On the movie. Than Batman. I'd rather watch Paul Blart Mall Cop three times than watch Bat the Batman if it's You're lying. Wrong. That's probably a lie. That's horrible. <laughs> but maybe I'll see it at home someday if it's that long. Because then I can take breaks. That's true. Waterworld sounds like it would have been a cool movie, but Kevin Costner fudged it up. Oh, really? Yeah, I guess he inserted a lot of his own ideas and opinions into it, and it got weird and crazy. He also just burned through a lot of money, of their money on, on it, I guess. Batman vs. the Turtles was surprisingly violent. Never seen it. I think it's just... I mean, it's a comic, right? Or is it... I think... Did, I did don't they know. Do, do they do... Is it a cartoon? Did they do a cartoon of it, too? Who knows? I don't know. 
I was going to say, Turtle comics are pretty violent. Yes, a lot of the Ninja Turtle and Batman comics are pretty violent. Oh, it does have a movie, apparently. Oh. Nicholas probably watched it. Oh, boy. I'm playing with this uh, twice. Uh, oh, no, those are Power Rangers. Dennis Hopper in speed. <laughs> Dennis Hopper in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Nice people just look cool with eye patches. Even Julia Hart looks cool with the eye patch. Hey. That's her name, right? Julia Hart? Wait, Julia. Julia. What's her? Julia Hart. Is it Hart? No, what's her list? Isn't that it? Is it Hart? It just sounded wrong at first, but is it? I think so. The Hollywood Blondes, right? Or no, not the Hollywood Blondes, the Varsity Blondes. Yeah, the blonde-headed boys. Yeah, the girl. The girl blonde. (laughs) The little blonde girl. You know, the one with the eye patch. She looks cool. (laughs) Is everyone talking about Waterworld now? I don't know. This is stream has gone to hell. Sorry. <laughs> it's gone to water. Water hell. I also like the Super Mario Brothers movie. I didn't mind as much when I was younger, but I think that's, at this point I don't think I care anymore. Again. She's being corrupted by Malachi. Is that it? Is it a poison that's slowly corrupting her? I don't know. That'd be cool. But That seems a little much, but... <laughs> Speed was great. Yes. Yes, it is. All-time great action film. No. Never watched that show. What show? Archive 21. What's going on? I don't know. I missed something? Yes. It says, have you watched Archive 421? Oh, Archive 81? Yeah. No, I don't even know what that is. Nope. Not a clue. Dennis Hopper having a chainsaw sword fight with other faces forever. Yes. Love that movie. The first Ninja Turtle movie is the first movie I remember seeing in a theater. Um, mine too, actually. I think. Who framed Roger well, Rabbit? I no, that was the yours. first movie I saw, but I don't really remember it. Sure. Was, that was that was my mom's friend wanted to wanted to see it, but he didn't want to look like a weirdo going by himself, so he took me and my mom. Hey. Uh, but I just I don't remember it. I remember watching a lot on tape. Just wanted to get excuse to wear an eye patch. Yes, but it works. She looks cool. Eye patches are cool. I hope to never need one. Where's Nicholas? Where is he? I don't know. Is that his dad's? Is it true? He never told us. I told him he can come by if you brought bagels. Well, he, he said, said no. no, and I said deal. Which means deal you can't come over. Hey, friend Nader, what's up? Oh, now it's moving quick. Nader. Uh, Cody was corrupted by the Black Mist. We're playing Nerf guns. So my neighbor kids. I'm taking another hostage. I shot the hostage in the leg. Yes. Oh, it's moving too fast. I don't know what's going on. I've been to Cutters since the pandemic. I don't know what that is. Like, slowly baptizing people into the House of Black with a mist. That's not for chance of fighting. Who's sure was quite compelling? Uh, watching Grown Ups 2 at his dad's, probably. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's probably watching Spyro the Dragon, the movie. Live action. No, no, he doesn't play Crash Bandicoot. He watches the film. You could watch the Roger and Clank movie. There actually is one. All right. Yeah. Did you watch it? Yeah. It's fine. Are you fine? No. I mean, it's also just like the game that came out. So I'd rather just play the game. He is Crash Bandicoot. Who is? Apparently Nick. Oh. Good to know. He directed the film. Nicholas? He's probably, yeah, he's probably eating Superman cheesecake, right? 
Oh, it's probably probably is. Oh, I started playing ukulele once. <laughs> I forgot about that. He's probably watching the stream getting mad at us. Oh, uh, it's probably true. And they're like, bastards. Yeah, he's swearing. Um, Nick swearing. It's now the property of Blockbuster Entertainment. Nicholas is? Do we have to buy him back? Since he's now the property of Microsoft and not Danhausen. No. Oh. We got bits. Oh, that's right, because. Oh, I did. Nope, that's not bits. Oh. Send right. bits. Those are um, channel points. No. Okay. They didn't get those just for watching. Now I have to stretch. <sighs> Just because Microsoft recently bought a bunch of games. Like, oh, yeah, they bought uh, Thank you, Rick. Diablo 2. Yeah. Stretch. What do you think I'm doing? It's like you're being a fool. Smell it. No. <laughs> it smells like gas. You are stove. When is Gorson here listening to that? Do you know? Who? But do you know when that S Boys song is coming out, the full version? Uh. No idea? Sure. Soon? Okay. Yes. Okay. Sure. Enough. Family reading time. All right. Thanks for hanging out, Rob. You take care. Go read with your family. See you. Just stand there at the back of the line with your shoes. I don't remember how that went. Uh, maybe. I can't think of any specifically, but... Ah. Seems like something I would come across on YouTube. Lawler build on D matches. Oh, all my Scorpion. Thank you, Scorpion. Thank you, Scorpion. Gifted a sub to say Peachy Bows. Be <laughs> sure to thank Scorpion. All my Scorpion. Is that right? I forgot my skepticisms. Oh uh, yeah. no, no, that's right. That's right. Hundred percent. On DP. Thank you, Nightbot. No. 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 Never mind, Nightbot. You're the worst Nightbot. Gotta hear you. Tenada. What? What does that mean? You're welcome. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. Scorpion tax. I thank him for. Uh, yeah. All right. Nice. Give me it. Give me it. <laughs> Hand it to me. Is the ATI title about coming along? 
Oh, is that the... Oh, that's the thing to learn. The... The, yeah, the, the thing you do with your leg? Yes! Physical therapy. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's called. Good. You're the best. Around. Yep. Know exactly what I was doing. Pop top beverage cans invented in Bryant in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, but as a joke, so they were pissed in it that it caught on. Okay. Like these? Maybe, I guess so. Should have popped up? Why would they be mad about that? They're sour. It's physical and therapy. Sour Pop Tarts. No, thank you. Okay, no thanks. The entire world is talking about Warrior Young Festival in Las Vegas, like Warped Tour on steroids. A lot of people are saying a lot of good and bad things about that. Oh, uh, right. That when we were a young festival, the one in Vegas with all the bands. Oh, yeah, it's too long. They're like, there's going to be. It's one day, but there's going to be the three stages and all those bands, so it's like. Looks like hell. Yeah, and then, like, you're guaranteed to, like, probably miss some stuff you want to see. Yeah, also, it is from, like, 11 in the morning until 11 at night, probably. Ooh. That sounds like an awful time. Don't even want to watch two bands alike. What two bands? No, I was just saying. Oh. Oh, I think Two bands is the limit. Yeah. Watch oh, two got bands. You. Gotcha. Going to see AFI and Cold Cave. I wouldn't say a bunch of washed up musicians. No. Kitty's gonna do this. There he is, it's pretty cool. Yeah. That's actually probably who I'd want to see the most. And to play one song, it'd be done. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gathering of the Juggalos, that's a no for me. I don't have a problem with Juggalos, but no, I don't want to go to the Gathering. Although my sister-in-law worked at the Gathering of the Juggalos, uh, and she had a great time. And she is not a, an ICP fan. They're all going to be the 25-minute sets. I didn't hear that. That sounds awful. Yeah. As a band, that's probably great. Go in, do 25 minutes, get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to see AFI do a headline tour, though. With a play for too long that's like like I used to go to Warped Tour but like sometimes like seeing bands on Warped Tour it felt like it didn't count you watched Heat Print at like 9am once did you? the Daz Fest it was some time was anyone anyone else even watching them? yes I would probably I didn't think it was Heat Print that early but it was we went at like 9am but yes you're very popular I remember waiting to get into Warped Tour the first time I went, which was like 2002, and you hear like NERD playing, and that's insane that just within a few years they were like, like right. Pharrell Williams is such like huge. Romstein played Warped Tour before. Is that true? That's neat. Remember they did uh, that one show with like Limp Bizkit and Korn and... Family Values? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Like, I got to see, um, like, International Noise Conspiracy at Warped Tour, and I'll pro- honestly probably never see them. They've never like, seen so a Warped Tour. I'll, I'll count that as seeing them, but, like, um... Never seen a Warped Tour. I, I don't really count, like, the time I saw Bad Religion there, or, um, Glass Jaw, because it's, like, in both those situations, like, the sun was, like, behind the stage, and I couldn't actually see or, like, look up at the band. So, like, this is terrible. Katy Perry played the Warped Tour. I heard that. Oh before. yes, that's right. I don't remember that. Lady Gaga should play it. I mean, I see Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is wonderful. Yeah. I almost went to Oklahoma to see Fozzie, but it hadn't worked. I 
I saw the still from Dining of Danhausen on Patreon, and I'm dead. Right. It was nice knowing you. I think they think it was funny. Oh, yeah. He says thank you. There he is. Thank you. <laughs> Where is this? I don't know. What are you doing? Looking up stuff. Stop it. Don't dare ask. Where is this? that one around here uh, got a lot done so far tonight. a little bit yeah mostly just like this Okay, so this probably goes over here. So that's probably out here somewhere. A Ohio cryptid, a giant frog that hangs around bridges at night. The Loveland Frog. Neat. Um, so these pieces. Oh, okay, yeah. They definitely go over here somewhere. So long, Superman. So long, Superman. Ta ta, Turtle Man. Oh, okay, so that doesn't go there. Ohio was also a Bigfoot hotspot. I thought oh, Ohio or Bigfoot was a like Pacific Northwest thing. And then like Florida because it's a skunk ape, but I gotta take this belt off. Sure. Alright, didn't fall asleep, I was doing emails. Have you heard the new blacklisted spin-off band? No, what is, is that it? a clone? It's just blacklisted, but a bit more punk. Pretty good. Are you using the same numbers? Yeah, what is it? Static flow. Now I'm gonna look it up. Yeah. Is it George? And how's the first Bigfoot? Who would win? Does Bigfoot have a broken leg? Yeah, what? Static flow. 
That is not on here. Oh, wait. I spelled it wrong. Ah, oh, that'll do it. And it keeps deleting letters. Ah, oh, that'll do it more. Uh, I don't what see it on here. Of the sky it's not on here. It's not on what, Spotify? No. Okay. Same members, George singing. Okay. Where could we could we listen to them? We'll leave you there. Yeah. Oh, it's in the band camp. Oh, okay. Chess plays older. The baby looked in uh, I don't know. Austin? I think it's Austin. Now, which one is that? <laughs> uh, yeah, see? Wait, which one's Austin? It's the one on the reality <laughs> show. I'm joking. Part yet. Part that part, that part. I should start setting those pieces aside. Colton is older. Oh! Did not know that. I assume they were twins. Ah, uh, yes. You're my hero. Thank you. That's Bat Midler. Oh. Thank you, Play Chance Play. Thank you. For the bits. And the, or the Pepsi. That's what it is. Dan Helsing can't be responsible for other people's actions. He's only ever stated fact. Uh, no, they did a good job. They beat up Christian. They slammed him into a wall because he mouthed off to Billy Ass. It's uh -huh. pretty good. They said, they said, uh, hello, Christian. They said, Billy Ass said, uh, what did he say? He said, my sons. He says, they're undefeated and they have a good record. Why have they not been allowed to fight Jungle Boy and the Dinosaur? Okay. And he said, make a statement and then we'll talk. Which is preposterous because the oh. record was already good. So he was asking for it. Yes. So then they threw him into the uh, wall. Oh, okay. Also, why would you mouth off to Billy Ass? He's the largest man on earth. I don't know. It's intimidating in person. Yes. yes. Shake his hand, he breaks your bones. But he's also just smiling so hard. Oh, yes, because he knows how powerful he is. Yeah. Look at Oh, thank you. More bits. You have to give him two dollars now. It's for Dan Health. It's very nice. Very. Oh, that was for your singing. Yes. Give me two dollars. I owe you two dollars? Yes. Isn't it two dollars? Fine. Two hundred bits? Two dollar bits. Is that two dollars? Two dollar bits, y'all. You're not answering questions. Uh, yeah, that's about two dollars. Sure. Yeah. I don't remember how that exchange rate works for me, but kind of, that's, yeah. Two bits. I'll give you two dollars. Two bucks. So Christian is the mess. Yes, he is. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, Billy Ass for sure would beat up Bigfoot. He's bigger than him. Billy Ass is biggest foot. Yes. Oh. No, that doesn't make sense. <sighs> 
you get the full value of bits. Okay. Nicholas is not in the chat, Judah. It's one way to tell if that's true or not. Nicholas claps at MJR. Oh, did he? We'll find out. If he's really here, he'll... Oh, yes, he claps there all the time. When they say... MJR, he goes... Claps. He's a menace. He claps when an airplane lands, too. He claps at the end of movies. Oh, he clapped at the end of uh, Star Wars Rogue One. <laughs> He said, oh, look, it's my friend Boba Fett. With his lightsabers. It's my friend. Everyone tweet at Nicholas. And ask him uh, when he clapped at the end of Rogue One for Boba Fett what he thought of the film. Uh, no, I don't like those ones. I've seen that movie and I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> he's at the end. He's the guy who goes... Whoo! It's Boba Fett. Oh, and okay. he does the light. Oh, that's okay. And right. he throws everybody like Luke Skywalker. But yes, go tweet at him and ask him about it. Go tweet him and say, Heard you clapped at the end of uh, Rogue One for Boba Fett uh, at MGR. You clapped at the beginning of the MGR song, too. It's going to be so bad. Maybe it should be on that one. <laughs> Maybe he should be here and this wouldn't happen. Wow. Well. Let's see if anybody's tweeting at Nicholas. Hmm. Pretty good tweeting. Love the MJR reference. What? Oh, MJR. They said MJF. Oh. So only been to MJR with you. But they have Pepsi. My leg is doing fine, Rob Justice. Thank you. <laughs> How are the kids? Davis, how is your leg? I just said my leg is doing fine. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Was not paying attention. So you said that you tweeted it, Nick. I see you get so mad. I see you come in here yelling at us. It's gonna be funny. In bed for now. Let's see. Where is Nicholas? He has not texted us yet. That means not enough people have tweeted him.
Okay. Not in my pile. Which way am I easy to ignore? Oh, everyone's easy to ignore. Nixie boy, just trying to enjoy Crash Bandicoot and Superman ice cream. And yeah, well, you know what? No, <laughs> that's what that person said. Oh, okay. New York Sunrise. You're too bad for him. No. <laughs> what is Celestial Seasonings tea? On, on the back of my stove. Ah, okay. Well, most of those are actually Stephanie's. I drink the the Tazo, Tazo, whatever it's called. This. It's like the lemongrass and mint. Tazo. That's the tea I like. Tazo. I don't know what it's called. Although the the pomegranate one stuff and eat green teas and stuff stuff gets is pretty good. But it's good, you say? Yeah. But for the most part, I really only drink hot tea when I'm not feeling well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like our tea, really. How has the new stove install happened yet? No, it should be happening tomorrow morning. Two grown men. Oh, I didn't think that was actually kind of funny. It's the two grown men. They're going through a gaff face. I feel like I half read that sentence like a minute ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who's the other guy in the video? Stang. Okay. I don't know his name. That's all I know. Okay, fair enough. Stang from Brian Meyer's school. Oh, okay. That makes sense. The ramen. There he is. I was going to bake a cake for Dan Housen. Do you even like cakes? Ice cream cake. I'll bake you an ice cream cake. <laughs> yeah, do it with your new oven. Yep. Uh, if I had more Ohio puzzles, I'd do one. Why? I don't know. Because people send them. And this is a pretty fun puzzle. Great, he's gonna be confused and mad. <laughs> Let's see what a search he's mean. Is this a Nepal? Brian Myers. Twittering. Nick Seabory. I'm the show. Oh, I'm very excited for the new album. I'm gonna go out and buy a really crappy pizza to make in there. <laughs> the fir very first thing a real cheap pizza. There it is. Sure. I'd like to hear the acclaim rap about Dan Housen if they had nice things to say. Yes, only nice things. You say listen. You like yo. You say listen. I wear a team and Sarah shirt. Uh, Do they wear that? Hmm? They have a Tegan and Sarah shirt? He's worn one before. Hmm. 
What is the Hall of Justice in Cincinnati? I'm not sure you know what that is. I mean, it sounds like it's pretty self-explanatory, but... Certain pieces are gonna go. Okay. Here's your puzzle. Oh, even even better. That's wrong. Wrong. Really? Try this one. Which which piece should I put there? Yeah, uh, this one. He's blue. It's okay. nice. See, flip it around. It is gray, just like this one. It's good. Sog mm. it up. It'll fit. How would I sog it up? Water. No, that's not what you said you were going to do earlier. When you text me, what did you say? <laughs> going to urinate all over your puzzle. I said, what are you doing later? Are you screaming? And then I said, I'm going to come over and urinate on your puzzle and ruin it. You did. Kendra Toys was there and they based three course from Super Friends on the train station. Oh, okay. I trust you. Hey. Thank you, say Fury Squirrel. Fury? Right. Guy Fieri Squirrel. No. I don't know, I can't read. Uh. Love a good jigsaw puzzle, though therapeutic. Yes. I know, I know. You gonna, you gonna bring up another gift? No. Yeah, you. Yeah, you said. No, that, yeah. Yeah, no, I know that. Oh, okay. I just didn't know why you're. Because it's funny. Yeah, okay. It's a funny time. Peacemaker. I haven't seen either. Peacemaker's better. Where did the boil it thing originate? It's from a... Uh, Nicholas. The, yeah, from... Because he was explaining how to fix toys. He says you put it in a, in a pot of hot water. Mm -hmm. To soften the plastic so you can kind of reset it. But that everyone knows Peacemaker's better. Everyone knows? Look. Oh, Okay. Dracula. Yeah, if he had his. There he What was wrong with Catwoman? I think the head was tight. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, it's really, you could not switch heads. You just couldn't switch them at all? Yeah, I think so. Mm. That doesn't sound good. You were there. That was like months ago. I didn't watch the video either. I don't know. <laughs> I don't need to watch it. I lived it. That's right. Apparently I need to watch it. Dracula. Zing. Ah. You okay? Yes. Just choking on your own rage? Yes. Exactly. He must be busy watching Spyro the Dragon because he's not texted us yet. He's too mad at us. Found it. Found what? Where that piece went. Oh. Ew. Good for you. Oh. It's an opera. It's over there somewhere. Oh. It's like sleepy in the toy unboxing videos. Yeah, bored, sleepy. I, mean, I just look sleepy all the time. That's just my face. I think you weren't bored during that one. During that one? Because you like Batman Returns. I do like Batman Returns. And those are pretty cool big toys. Big toys are cool toys. Yes. Did you read the Batman 89 series comic? No. They buy things a lot and then I just read them. <laughs> Ooh. 
I'll just Google it. What awesome. happened in book? I've done that with TV shows. Like I watched, I watched like the first like two seasons of like Sons of Anarchy, and then I'm like, I'm just gonna watch a YouTube video on how every character dies. Yeah, it is. Good and idea. then I was like, this is better. I don't care about Good idea. any of this anymore. You should do that for the Star Wars films with the uh, random editor media. Okay. You ever watch those ones? Their Star Wars reviews. Yeah, yeah. I All watch right. most of the stuff that's been on random editor media. I just like them. I watch for it like 4 a.m. last night. You know, I'm going to do that with Breaking Bad. I'm not even going to bother watching Breaking Bad. I know it's supposed to be great, but at this point, like, I'm not going to watch it. No, listen. Watch a summary of the first season and then start the second. What, what, wait, watch a summary of the first season and yes. start the second? Okay. What happens in the second season? That's. I just think it gets more exciting. Okay. Have you seen Scream 5? No. Good evening, Sloth Style. What's going on? Twitch. Dan has said you were looking at your thousands of Twitch followers during the video. He was being sarcastic. Ooh, I'm getting yelled at. No, I'm... Yeah, you're not just watching. I'm just not, not... Same thing like The Wire. I'm never going to watch The Wire. <laughs> but uh, apparently season one is good. Of The Wire? Yeah. That's what people say. I think season three is bad. How much of it have you seen? Never watched The Sopranos either. I've seen like a few episodes. Oh, I hear it's the greatest television show of all time. I was surprised at how like goofy it was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not gonna happen with the shield. I don't like dramatic television. No, I don't want to watch the shield. I will watch the wire before I watch the shield. I'm probably never gonna watch Yellowstone. Nope. Might watch Yellow Jackets. Heard that's pretty good, and it seems like a horror thing. Oh yeah. But we'll see. I don't know. I might know. Probably won't watch it. Don't feel like it. I was looking for like dark gray pieces. I believe this. So I threw all this crap again. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, there goes here. I recognize that piece right away. We watch Ash vs. Evil. You know, I didn't finish Ash vs. Evil. Then I actually should do that. It is I liked I liked everything I saw, but I was watching too much at once. It's not and then I was like, I don't feel like watching this anymore. Yeah. Uh, but I, I did like what I saw. It is fine. It's not bad, it's just not... Not what you wanted from the Evil Dead. It's like that episode of Creepshow, kind of. Still has Bruce Campbell, though, so that's good. Thank you, Nightbot. Westworld? No, Never I'm fine seen with it. Westworld, either. Most TV shows, I just, especially dramatic TV shows, I just haven't put time in. Didn't put in the work. Don't feel like it. It's too much work to do it. Man, some of these pieces, it's like, how do I pass over them so many times and then go back and just find them? Watched every episode of Planet Peacock, Dan Housen cameoed as a boy. The Dalton Castle. Oh, show. okay. Seems like. Can't watch anything that has a laugh track. I don't mind laugh tracks. I almost don't notice them if I'm being honest. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. Penguins can't fly. You're not going in any of these places. Hmm. I can't. I can't do Power Rangers. No, it doesn't hold up. Watch The Simpsons. Uh, I 
watch King of the Hill, although I just really have it on all the time as background noise. Um, IT Crowd, I can kind of watch a lot. 30 Rock, I can rewatch. Uh, I've never watched 30 Rock. Who else is excited for Kings of the Black Throne? Yes. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I know. I know that much. Pretty cool. Yeah, oh, thank you. I watched some. I know what they put on. If they put it on YouTube, I watch it. I just don't have cable. All right. Scrubs. Um, Scrubs is okay. Scrubs is one of Stephanie's favorite shows, so I've seen it a lot. Never um, watched it. She also watches a lot, or used to watch a lot of House. Never watched it. Uh, so I've seen more House than I ever need to. I wish you. There are some Scrubs things that are just very, very funny, but it's like a 10% of the show is like that. Yeah. yeah. Like most of it's fine, but only 10% of it's like really funny. No. Watch the Chucky show? No. I'm sure it's fine. Nicholas said it's yeah, really good. I've, I've heard a lot of people say it's He said good. it's his favorite show. Should make his own buddy comedy based off of life called Make Room for Danhausen. Oh, God. Community is okay. I don't really feel like it's as quite as rewatchable, but I thought it was. I enjoyed it when I watched through it. I didn't see, like, any of those, those last season or two or however I did it, though. No, House makes me think it's always Lupus. Lupus. Dr. House. MD. And I think one time it finally was Lupus. House makes me think you can figure out anything as long as it's through revelation. Unrelated to what you've been thinking about. Except it's never lupus. That's the thing. Once it was lupus and they were like, we have lupus. Daniels, do you like the cramps? I'm sorry, I missed that one. No. Psych was good. I like psych. I haven't seen all of psych, but I do like psych. I don't like psych either. Uh, I like the cramps. Cramps are fun. I don't remember what they play. Uh, I remember like, their t-shirts. It's kind of like surf rock stuff. No. Where they're singing about like monsters and stuff. It's it's like if the Misfits like the like, surf rock. Where they're singing about like horror. I don't know. I've like, never listened uh, to them. No, okay. So I'm going to say no just because okay. I've never listened. It's one stay in bed. Get him. Give them Ovaltine. Be sure to drink your Ovaltine. Thank you, Outer Rocket. Thank you for the bits. Yes. <laughs> Lupus. Is that Lupo? Or the other way around. Christmas Story is getting another sequel? Yeah. There's like four of them. One of them is very good. I think my summer story is really good. Uh, and that Ollie Hop Noodle or whatever movie is supposed to be pretty good. Right. Uh, there, there's like a TV movie based off of more of Gene Shepard's writing. And it's supposed to be pretty good, but I've never seen it. Uh, I think like it's on YouTube, but it's like really low quality. Dan House is not wearing a cast now, to be fair. Ralph Billingsley's back is Ralphie. Okay. Uh, that's weird. That guy's like best friends with uh, Vince Vaughn. 
Who is this? Ralph? Ralph Billingsley. Okay, so he's the kid from A Christmas Story, right? The shoot your eye out kid? Ah. But he's also in the Marvel movies. He's the one that, like, Jeff Bridges yells at when he's like, Tony Stark built this in a cave! That, like, bald tentist. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yes. That's the kid from A Christmas Story. Oh, all right. He's also, I, am I am I saying that right? Maybe I'm mixing stuff up. I don't know. I think that's right. The guy that made Black Christmas and Porky's made Christmas Story. Yes. He also made Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, um, which is a very weird movie. I am correct. Okay, good. I started to doubt myself there for a second. I should learn not to do that. He was also an elf. Makes sense if he's friends with Bond. He's probably friends with Favreau. Or maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's just really friends with Favreau. Maybe I confused the two. But I actually did. Brawl and Cell Block 99. It would have been better if it was like 20 minutes shorter. <laughs> Which movie? Brawl and Cell Block 99. I don't know what that is. It's just Vince Vaughn just beating the crap out of people. And then going to jail and beating more people to death. Weird. It's part where he like steps on someone and like scrapes their face let's see like he holds his foot on their head and yes. moves it yeah. and you can hear their skull scraping and yeah. it's really it's gross. gross yeah he also beats the crap out of a car slither is great yes it is there's james gunn yes yes that's what he's saying he said he rewatched it and it's great it is great I think people forget to I feel to bad because like, everyone's like, this is Ripa, this is Night of the Creeps. I'm like, no, this is, this is really cool. <laughs> Just enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. We don't get those. We don't get cool sci-fi horror movies anymore. There's a cautionary tale. Yeah, don't let aliens um, get in your mouth. Nope. That's also like in the movie Body Snatchers. Super is his only one that I'm iffy about. I still like it a lot. I didn't see Super. Yeah, I didn't see it. I also didn't realize that was his. Brightburn. I didn't see Brightburn. Nope, didn't see it. I'm sure it's a movie. Looked all right. When we, I remember when I was at the theater, we got Brightburn, but we didn't get that Jim Jarmusch zombie movie. What is that? Um, I don't remember. You said a what movie? Jim Jarmusch, filmmaker. Is it a zombie movie? Yeah. It, was, it had, like, Adam Driver and Bill Murray in it. Oh, the dead don't die. Yes. I didn't want to And, like, that. someone, like, com called and complained to the theater that, like, we had a crappy movie like Brightburn, but you don't get anything good like uh, the dead, the whatever. And I was like, bro, these both look bad. Yes. <laughs> also, we don't choose what movies come to our theater. No. <laughs> so. Oh, you know, I think they left it as a... A negative review for or a um, a bad survey for us. So oh, good. We essentially, you know, got in trouble for that. For uh, yeah. someone being stupid. The dead don't. Okay, yeah. I didn't see it. Nope. Looked bad. I don't. Rem I, it was one I remember. I didn't remember what Brightburn was until I remembered it's that story. Yes. Evil Superman or yes. something. There's a kid. Which, in theory, sounds fine. Yeah. It's a fine idea. I 
Like I said, I'm sure it's a movie. But now I remember it. More better. Kind of, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, you know, everything's based off of, like, survey scores. And people can like and it was it's it's the kind of thing where like you know you rate something four out of five five one zero out of five or one out of five but if you get a four it counts as a zero they only count the five out of fives so you're, right, only, you're either perfect or you're failing i i don't know anything about football no give us 250 dollars yes <laughs> I rate the stream 5 out of 5. Thank you. Good. You give us $250, too. I wouldn't, but thank you. It's kind of like, have you ever, like, um, uh, like, put in an application somewhere, and they have the, um, on a scale of, like, you know, strongly agree, strongly disagree with this statement, and it's like stealing is wrong. Oh, and I yeah. get strongly disagree, and that gives you an example of why, like, those are set up so that you either always are supposed to choose strongly agree or strongly disagree. Because otherwise, if, you don't care. Yeah, because they think if you're not, because when you think of it like that, it's very obvious what the answers are supposed to be. Yes. But they think it's like, well, if you somewhat agree, then you could be swayed the other direction. And you're not decisive. Right. Yeah, so they want you to either pick strongly agree or strongly disagree. If you don't, it, you fail that question. Mm -hmm. Those are teams, but I don't know anything about this. Give us two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> I got turned down from on one of those for moralizing. Yeah, Circuit City. Okay. They sold Dan Housing City of Heroes and said it would play on the computer off the internet, and they lied. And then they went out of business because Dan Housing cursed them. Because then Dan Housing tried returning and said, "Can I play this on the internet for twenty five dollars a month?" Else sells a final. They said, they said it would play fine offline. They lied. Liars. Yeah, give us $250. What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> Trying to get $250 yeah. from this Kevin fellow. You know what? Everyone give Dan Housen two hundred fifty dollars. Um, give right. Davis fifty. Oh, nice. Yes. Thank you, friend. Man. Best Buy is better than Circuit City, anyways. It still exists. Media Play was better than all of them. Yeah. You been the second in Charles? Oh, yes, the place is pretty good too. Thank you for the bit, Skylar Rich. <laughs> you are a saint among men, sinners. I don't know. Someone. You're a saint among sinners. Impact is sucking at the moment. Why? What's going on? Why? Is Jake something not the champion still? He should be. Yep. Yes, he should. Yeah, like what's my name? And they should say champ. Should be like what's my name? And they should be like R U L E. Rap scallion.
Oops. Miss something. Oh. oh, Nicholas is gonna love this. A Godzilla. Oh, New York Seven gave two hundred fifty bits. I didn't even see that. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. A Godzilla and Monster TV series is in the works. Oh, good. Written by Matt Matt Fraction, which is Nicholas's favorite Iron Man writer. Did you do Spider Man stuff too? Mm, I don't think so. Maybe. I was gonna say I feel like I know that name. But it's it's for Marvel, so yeah. you know you do love the MCU. Oh yeah. Marvel Comic Universe. Yes. That, uh, that checked out. With Morrissey. Morrissey's a wrestler? Cool. Oh. Something after the Smiths? Oh. Yeah, I think so. Oh. It's formerly Big Cass. Is that what's going by now? Uh, Dearborn. Uh, oh, Big Ben's Comics Oasis. I think that's kind of near Dearborn. Hmm? For a, oh. a toy store. I think it's near there. Where's Dearborn in relation to that? It's like Allen Park or something. Is it close? Hmm. I don't know. Where's Ask or something? Oh, I'm sleeping. Matt Cardona challenged Jordan Grace for the Internet Championship. Great. Let me see what this is. Uh, if I send it to you with your phone, my wife made. No, said, I searched out of garden on accident. We we can't we can't do submission or signatures through the mail anymore. No. It's been a problem. I just can't recommend it. Oh yes, yes. So if you go to Dearborn, Big Ben's Comics Oasis is about nine minutes. Okay. I'll remember that next time. No, okay. not you. Oh, okay. Someone asked in the chat. Oh, okay. Bumbling buffoon. Ouch. You don't like being called a bumbling buffoon? Oh, it it's got two B's. <laughs> Boisterous boob. Like Big Ben. Oh, yeah, true. Ah, oh, Nicholas is on the Twitter or something. Uh-oh. What did he say? But he's lying to everyone, saying he did. I've do never this. clapped at a movie at FGR. He didn't even tweet at anybody. He's lying. Oh, it was AMC. That's right. Never mind. He clapped at the end of Rogue One at AMC. <laughs> he clapped at AMC. Go tweet at him and go, are we corrected it? Like, There's actually AMC theaters when he clapped at the end of Rogue One for Boba Fett. <laughs> the emergency exits are located at your front and the rear of the theater. <laughs> you know when there's little popcorn soldiers when they're doing their thing? Is I that the AMC? Clapped. It probably was very loud. Sorry. I don't remember having core recollection. Wink. And which is just treat you had one? Oh, you're talking to Ego. Oh, yeah. Okay. Pocket tea. Pocket sand. There it is. Cross off who you've seen. Is Nicholas lying to people? I don't know. See you next time, Prime. Thank you. Here's Prime subscriptions. Do, do, do. 
Stop puzzling and I'm just looking at Twitter. This must be very exciting for everyone. Very right. Just keep doing this. I think that was the whole point. <laughs> Wait, what? What is Stephanie saying? She says we should stop picking on Nick. No. We're not picking on him. We're just We're telling people what he likes to do at the movie theater. Puzzle pieces to trigger this one from here. Doesn't hurt here or here, but right here. Okay, you went there. More gray stripes. ROH Championship just started. What? Thought that they were gone. Says like he can't prove it. Well, that goes there though. You okay? Yes. When every piece is beige. Yes. Hi. I'm almost done with that bowl already. She can't say it like that. Oh, 
Ooh. Ooh. And this one goes up here. Yeah. Hi, Jones. In the wine. Oh, that's good. Soggy. Did you say soggy? It's a soggy puzzle. Look at that. How is it a soggy puzzle? Because it's not fitting. Okay. Do you destroy the puzzle immediately after completing it? Pretty quickly, yeah. <laughs> it's your favorite part. It's a lot of people's favorite part. That and the confetti. People love the confetti. A fire run was destroyed. Okay. You don't go there. You go here. No. Go here. No. Here. No. No. I already checked you. No. Vampires. In case you can't hear that, Stephanie is singing the theme to Rescue Rangers. What we do in the shadows, TV show or movie? Um, movie. But! Oh, oh that's no, hard now, so actually. Good. There's so much more of the show. But! And it keeps getting... It's still just great. Uh, trying to think. It's Season 3 was not Dan Anderson's favorite season. The movie only has one really good movie. Yeah. The show is still good. But Seasons 1 and 2, Dan Anderson likes the better, I think. That's so close. Because it's like... I love the stuff in the movie with like Stu and just like there's so many like just good jokes and there's just so... Oh, so there'd be no television so show funny. without the movie. Yeah. Um, but Nadja is so good. Uh, Nadja is very good. And um, Lazlo is great. Especially with Jackie Daytona. Human bots, had to. I just love Matt Berry and anything. Cat's name Colin Robinson. I get that because cats are energy vampires. That's true. I think I'm done. Okay. I think you're done. Good night. <laughs> Who's on? Who's on with it anyway? I don't know. Uh, George BMT. I don't know. Who's on? Gargano. Okay. Should I send them to them? Or? If you want. Does he have a lot of people on? Um, yeah, 387. How do we, who else is on the list? Is there any independent wrestlers? Uh, I don't see anyone. Yeah, okay. Are there any independent wrestlers on Twitch that I'm just not seeing? Because I don't, I don't know all of their Twitches. No. So no, Effie's. Yeah, Effie's not here. Beatball's not there. I know what I read to you. Aim. BMD? Is Coles? Coles is still going. Is it? Is that a... Uh, 
No, it looks like he says it five hours ago. Oh. Yeah. Streamed. BMD is nice. Okay. Um, he probably use a boost. Yep, there he is. He's got 37 people. So, yeah. Great friend of Egon. All right. Great. I will see you guys later. I'll send you over. Take care. Hey.